Hey guys, I want to share my daily routine that I try to hammer out every morning that has made me successful not only in the cryptocurrency space, but in all areas of my life. I spent over hundreds of thousands of dollars on high-end masterminds, coaches, books, courses, and all that great stuff. I'm going to share with you guys some of the best stuff that has literally changed my life and that I use every day. Let's get right into this. <laughs> For checking out the channel every day we put out a new video about cryptocurrency education markets giveaways and more make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any content now let's go to the moon so I'm gonna share with you guys what I do every day. Um, in the morning, I try to hit all of these, and I'm gonna start with reading. It's very important. Throughout high school, I wasn't the biggest reader. You know, I read Holes, some of these books that were assigned to us. I know I didn't think it was that cool. I was very lucky to find a mentor that I wanted to kind of copy the, the same things they were doing because I wanted to, you know, emulate their success. I wanted to have the things, the same things they did. I wanted to be just as successful as them. So I wanted to figure out what they were doing. I found out very quickly that successful people read. I think 80% of self-made millionaires read. And look at these five billionaires who credit their success to reading. Not only, you know, um, they're saying that they read every day. They're literally crediting their success to reading. Charlie Munger, this is the one I wanted to touch on, Elon Musk. So growing up in South Africa, Musk was usually the smallest and youngest person in his class. He spent his team reading books uh, ex obsessively, not just for pleasure, but also for knowledge. Musk described himself in a Bloomberg interview as a bookwormy kid. Growing up, he would read as many as two books per day. That's crazy. Oprah Winfrey, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and... Um, you can just see some of these large influential people, mo some of the most successful people in the world, they have, you know, attributed their success to reading. So I love to read mindset books, you know, like Tony Robbins, my favorite. You can check out that Tony Robbins poster right behind me. You know, I go to those events in person. I, I invest in myself. So reading is hugely important because th the thing with reading is you learn from successful people at your own pace. It could be an audio, it could be, you know, reading it, it could be even watching it on YouTube. They have these, you know, visual audio books or whatever you want to call them. So it from Tony Robbins, I'm paraphrasing, you compress decades into days. Imagine a billionaire who's grinded his whole life, who's made some of the worst mistakes, lost hundreds of millions to billions of dollars, and then made it made it successfully, shared exactly what he did, exactly what worked. Why wouldn't you read that book? Or do you want it to go the other way? Do you want to Google, you know, what works, what doesn't work? Do you want to try yourself? Do you want to spin the wheel? You know, why not just read what successful people have done? Success leaves clues. If all of these guys that are successful are doing the same stuff, are do, you know, have the same habits, then you want to emulate those. You want to embody those. You want to do the same stuff, read the same books. You know what I mean? Because um, success leaves clues. So this is why I love le reading like mindset stuff because I am a huge believer in controlling your mindset and believing whatever you believe, whether you think you can or can't, it's true. And you know, I'm gonna share a lot of things with you, not just like reading. Um, so I love reading mindset books, and then I love reading books that are related to my niche. So trading, I wanna become the best trader, and I need to learn everything about trading. I need to learn, you know, people who created technical analysis or, you know, founded some of the larger used um, indicators and things like that. I need to learn that. I wanna become the best trader. I wanna become the best investor. So I, you know, I buy these books and investing in yourself can get you a thousand X return. As traders, we're looking for returns, correct? So with the lowest amount of, you know, uh, capital deployed for these books, 10, 15, 30 bucks, you can find all these books online for free as well. These books will teach you things that could take you years or decades, just in days. Or if you just, you know, really immersed yourself in that book, you could finish it in a day. And you can learn a ton of knowledge that these guys lived their, throughout their whole lives right into you in a book. Like, you know, Bob Proctor or Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn was Tony Robbins' mentor. Like, these books are so filled with value. One sentence, one word, you know, when it clicks, it can change your life. Literally. So the book reading is huge. Let's now move to the next thing. I try to read 30 minutes a day. 
regardless if it's in the morning or if it's at night. Best case, I read at night and at morning, but I try to read 30 minutes and um, I can go for longer, you know, if I get sucked into the book, if I really like it, because I love reading about business. I love reading about trading. I love learning new things. If you're not progressing, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. So humans need to progress. The next thing is writing goals. This thing has changed my life. I'm gonna, this is from Harvard. This is a study from Harvard. Let's look at it quick. Harvard MBA Business School study on setting goals. So have you set written goals and created a plan for their attainment? So look at this. Prior to graduation, it was determined that 84% of the entire class had set no goals at all. 13% of the class had set written goals but had no concrete plans. 3% of the class had both written goals and concrete plans. The results? Well, you've likely somewhat guessed it. 10 years later, the 13% of the class that had set written goals but had not created plans were making twice as much as money. So if you just write your goals down, you are you know, more likely just going off these numbers to make more money than the average person. If you have goals that are written and concise, if you have a plan, a plan of action, you know, if you schedule actions that you're gonna take to move forward to that plan, then you're gonna make 10 times that money. Look, the apparent kicker is that 3x of the clan that had 3% of the class that had both written goals and a plan were making 10 times as much as the rest of the 90% of the class. And I can literally vouch for this. Change, writing goals has changed my life. Like I've been writing goals. This book's from 2018. Um, you know, I've been writing goals. This is the newer one right here, 2021. So I try to write my goals every day. And writing your goals, you put them out into the world. You know, you're writing them out. You're kind of putting it out in concrete. Try it out. It's it's the best thing to do. Like it, it's it's like a stress reliever too, or you're kind of just hashing out everything you want. It kind of makes you grateful for everything you have. I also like to feel grateful for everything I have, for the people who love me, for everything I have, you know, the roof I have over uh, over my head, for everything that I've written down in 2018. Some of this stuff has come true, you know? Like, let me read some of this stuff. Some of this stuff's very uh, over-ambitious, which you want to be, because why would you, you know, plan for 100,000? Why, why is your goal 100,000? Because you already limited yourself. You're gonna fall short of 100,000 if you your goal is 100,000. Would you rather fall short of 100,000 or would you rather fall short of a million dollars? By just that little written goal, you're limiting yourself. So don't write small goals. This is your chance to write big goals as large as you can. So, you know, I'll make 25 million a year, end of 2018, I didn't hit that, but where I am now, I'm getting closer, you know what I mean? So I'll build 100 schools, I'll build 100 hospitals, I'll feed a billion people. So these are some of the, my, my largest goals. I'll work out every day, seven days a week, you know, because I believe in health and fitness. The change of your body um, will give you, you know, motivation to change in other areas of your life. When you conquer an area of your life, you can use that, you know, motivation in one area and, you know, rotate it to the other area. Um, some of the goals I've hit. I will, I will get married and have a healthy family. I'm very, very grateful for that for God. You know, I married my beautiful wife. I have a kid. I have another kid on the way. Uh, that was like something that was impossible for me to see in 2018. You know, having my own business, starting my own YouTube. Um, I'll help many people invest and change their lives. I hope I've helped people do that, you know? So I'll start a YouTube. I'll read 10 books a month. This is in 2018. I will perfect TA and be the best trader. I'll do YouTube, we'll do two videos a day. We're doing one video a day, so I was super ambitious in 2018. Um, in 2018, I'll hold myself to the highest standards. Um, I'll have a crypto portfolio of $10 million. I will buy five real estate investments. So I write this all down. And the deeper you go into it, the, 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 when your brain you know, thinks of something, imagine all the fear you get. You know how sometimes you get so fearful and you get actually afraid, you think the world's gonna end and it's the smallest issue. Now flip that. Imagine you're so motivated, you see yourself on the beach in this condo, ocean front. You know, you feel the water, you hear the water, you feel the, you know, the sand, it's very hot on your feet. You know what I mean? You're watching all the people walk by. You're chilling on, the, you know, reading your book, writing your goals, you know, you can actually imagine that and you're writing that every day, you're working towards it. Some of the goals that I've written down from 2017, 18, you know, I've been trying to write goals when I started reading, probably right after high school. Um, so I started trying to read and write my goals every day, reading 30 minutes a day, writing your goals from, you know, not just crypto, but all your goals, you know, 
Are you looking forward to getting married? Do you want to have kids? Um, where's your dream house? Is What's your portfolio going to look like? Do you want a real estate portfolio? Like, what are the, some of the things you want? Jets, cars, where do you want to live? You know, some of my goals are crazy. You know, I want houses all over the world. I want, you know, to fly out my family and friends. I want to retire people I don't even know. I want to make them rich. I want to because I didn't grow up financially, uh, you know, I didn't grow up in a financially strong position. So I want to show people, like I've done in cryptocurrency, it's possible for anybody. So if I can show thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of people with our education platform, or if we can turn it, you know, we're giving out, a, pumping a ton of free education out, and if I can change one life, or a couple lives, and then they could pay it forward, it's huge. So writing goals, some of this stuff has come true already, and I can see some of my 2018 goals just reading them. They're, they're set in motion to hit this year. If I keep working hard at it, if I keep writing my goals, if I keep the vision in front of me, if I keep reading and learning, there's nothing in my way. There's nothing that will stop me. You just see my vocabulary. I'm motivating myself right now. So reading, writing. I try to exercise every morning as well with, with the new strains and things like that. Our gyms in Canada have been shut down for over 450 days. So at some point, like my schedule is getting thrown around and I don't like that. I like to, you know, know what I'm doing. I like to know, you know, I'm going to go to the gym in the morning, but our gyms are closing tomorrow for another three weeks. It's like you get back in and you get back out and you can hear me. I'm making valid excuses, but at the end of the day, they're excuses. You know, at some point, you might not feel like reading. You might not feel like writing your goals. But those are the days where you do it, and then the next day it's a lot easier. If you're going to procrastinate, procrastinate on procrastination. You know, if you want a day off, take it off tomorrow. And when tomorrow comes, you know, see if you feel like taking it off. And then just keep pushing it back. That's, that's a great way to procrastinate. If you're going to procrastinate, you know. So writing your goals, reading your book, working out. I was doing 50 push-ups because I had to implement something instead of going to the gym because I can't go on a schedule and then we're locked down for three weeks, we're locked down for two months. So I'm gonna do something regardless of the lockdowns. It's like negative 20, it's snowing. I'll try to run, but I'm going to do 50 push-ups and 100 squats every morning. It's nothing crazy but it gets me active, it gets me out of bed, and it gets my blood flowing, you know what I mean? I like to do breathing exercises, but this is not what I do every day, so I won't include the breathing exercises, more just exercising, um, reading, writing my goals, and then I move into the crypto stuff. I, I try to do some of the breathing stuff, I meditate, also praying, I, I you know, if you're religious, having some faith, being grateful for everything you have and for the people that, you know, you have that love you, for the things that, you know, you, you got blessed with. Everybody's blessed. Uh, if you're watching this video, if you have Wi-Fi, you just got to think of everything that you have, which people don't have the opportunity to watch this video. They don't have the opportunity to have, you know, the time or leisure or Wi-Fi, whatever it may be to watch this. So we're all blessed in that sense. So those those are pretty much it. If I hit the, the, the 50 push-ups and 100 squats if i write my goals if i write read my book also one of my other actions is doing a video a day and that has blossomed in opportunities that i couldn't have thought of until i started doing it these things won't you know they're not um instant gratification they're later uh and kind of delayed you're not gonna see your goals happen unless they're very short-term goals uh, when you write them down happen the next week or month um, you can write short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. And you can write them in where like, I will, I will have. Or some people do it as, I already have. I have this. I have a beach house on Miami with four bedrooms overlooking the ocean. Um, you know what I mean? You can be very specific. You could even get more specific than that, you know? Um, and these things have, have got me very focused, you know, because when I write, I want to be the best, what do I need to do to become the best? And then I'll start looking for that and take action. And then the last thing I'll end with you guys um, before we move into the crypto stuff is finding a mentor. You know, you don't have to pay for anybody. Finding somebody who's done it, finding somebody who's very successful in that field. Think about this and think deep. Do you want to be an extreme producer? extreme athlete, extreme, you know, human being. 
And I like like being an extreme producer because I want to you know be the best in my niche. I want to be the best trader. I want to be the best crypto YouTuber. Not necessarily the best, but give the most value. You know, I don't care who's the best. I don't care who has the most uh, subscribers. I'm just trying to give the most value. So, um, going into a mentor, would it not make sense that finding somebody who's done it, who's done it almost the best, who's done it very successful, and somebody that you kind of um, you know, can see yourself doing something similar to, you know, somebody you relate to. Find somebody like that, reach out to them, see if you can learn from them, see what they've done that's brought them to that massive amounts of success. You know, if you wanna be like somebody like Tony Robbins, you can read his books, you can see what he's done, you can see, you know, what he's done specifically to reach becoming a billionaire, you know, earning 32 businesses and doing hundreds of billions or whatever amount of money he, he does. So find somebody that's done it Find somebody you can learn from and they'll teach you a lot very quickly. They'll teach you what not to do and they'll teach you where to look, how to learn. And you know what I mean? It's 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 a game changer when you have a mentor. Think about LeBron James or Mark Zuckerberg or some of these high uh, producing players. They have some of the best coaches on their sides. They have the best teams. They have the best whatever you need. They have it. So don't you want to be set up like that? Don't you want to have the best coach on your side? Don't you want to have the best people on your side that can advise you, that can help you get to where you need to be the fastest um, and most efficient? Sometimes you, won't have, you might not have money for these coaches or for these courses, but investing in yourself brings you the most return. And what I've done is I've worked hard to figure out what amount of money do I need to get this coach. And I worked very hard to get that money and I've paid it. I went all into these programs. I've spent a ton of money when I did it into these programs to change my mind first. Because when I change my mind, nothing could get in my way. I won't, you know, there's bad days, but I, I you know, kick out of it very quickly because I remember all the goals I've written. I remember from what I've re uh, uh, read that day, you know, there's just so much more positivity coming in and I'm just so much grateful for everything. It's it's kind of trumps any negative thing that happens. I mean, you still have bad days. So then after I do all this, read, write, be grateful, I start looking at my crypto stuff. I start looking at my positions. If I'm in, in any open trades, I start looking at kind of my overall portfolio, my NFTs, open trades like I mentioned, and see if I need to do something immediate. And if not, I'll then I'll start looking at some of the emails, some of the messages I got from late night, uh, because you know, crypto is 24 seven, I have people messaging me every time of the day. And then I'll start looking at um, my, my kind of, um, the kind of trades I wanna start taking for the day and I'll get my video done. And when I learn to wake up early, also that's a huge one. I try to wake up early as early as possible. Um, I'm doing my best at it, honestly, but I try to wake up, I try to finish writing my goals. So imagine this, I'm not sure, I mean, if you have to go to a job or whatnot, but if you write your goals, read your book, you know, very grateful for everything you have, you overlook your crypto portfolio, I get my video done and I get everything done by noon. I try to get everything done by noon and then all that extra time I have for me to pursue extra knowledge, extra you know, uh, information on the markets. I can just kind of look for more opportunities. I've done all the important work and now I have set up my day so I feel great about everything that I've done. You know, um, And not only that, I'm highly motivated and then I have the rest of the day for looking for more opportunities, you know, setting up calls with clients, making more videos if I want, and you get it. So setting up your day is very important. I recommend reading, I recommend writing your goals, I recommend finding a mentor, and just being grateful for everything you have. Obviously exercising is important as well, wherever you are around the world. I try to exercise every day, you know, even if it's just 50 push-ups or 100 squats, um, but with the gym closures and the lockdowns, I understand sometimes it's hard, uh, but we're gonna have to find ways around that. So I'm very interested to hear about your daily routine. One, do you have a daily routine? Two, what is it? Post it below. And this, these videos, I know we've been covering like altcoin videos and what's the next blockchain to thousand X, but these are very important videos and I think we should make more of them because when you can work on yourself and you have um, 
those resources to help yourself and to grow just in other areas, not just the cryptocurrency scene, but your mindset, your relationships and all that great stuff, you're actually producing more. You're more motivated, you're more efficient, you have more energy. Um, and all of that leaks in all areas of your life. You know, when you're crushing one area of your life, it, it literally leaks to the other area and you just shine. So I wanna see that for all of you guys. If you have any questions, post them below and I'll see you guys tomorrow.